Oh, you know what? Matt's supposed to ride with me to work tomorrow. Let me see if he's still up to it. And how long is it going to last? Is it a bad color or is it... Hey, Matt, how are you feeling? Still up to riding to work tomorrow? Yeah, yeah, I think I can do it. Uh, well, hopefully. It's still 20 miles, right? Yeah, 20 miles. And, uh, you know, I fully charged the batteries. I checked the tire pressure. That's all good to go, and uh, yeah, you know, it should be a good ride. It's going to be a beautiful morning. I mean, all right. Well, I'm not as good shape as you, so uh, hopefully, hopefully, it uh, does all right. I mean, uh, are you worried about anything else besides, uh, you know, just the, the effort? Yeah, I mean, ho hopefully, you know, aren't the batteries brand new? They haven't been cycled yet, and everything. No, this is going to be uh, going to be the very first cycle on these batteries. Okay. Well, yeah, ho yeah, it'll be interesting to see how they go untested. Well, in a worst case scenario, you can always use a throttle, you know? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, good enough. Well, uh, well I'll, I'll, I'll see you at my house uh, maybe around 6, 6.30. That works. Six. All right. All right. All right. I'll send you text. Yeah. All right. Sounds good. Good morning, guys. This is Joey and Matt with CSC eBikes. And this morning, we're actually going to ride to work. It's a 20-mile ride from Ontario to Azusa, California. And now we're going to be riding our brand new mid-drive MD1000 fat tire e-bikes. This ride is approximately 20 miles. And we're going to be taking bike trails most of the way. So it should be a good ride. And you know what? It is a beautiful morning. Oh my goodness. It doesn't get any more beautiful than this. All right, here we go, guys. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to ride the entire trip in level five. You know, right away, I'm going 13, 14 miles an hour at an easy pedal. Oh, man, this is the way to go. I can definitely find myself doing this often. Uh, they may not daily, but you know what? I can see myself doing this quite often. Um, usually, uh, huffing and puffing a little bit by now. And I'm just easy pedaling. No trains. Alright, now we are in downtown Upland. Through this beautiful little little town. This place is actually known for the Lemon Festival. In the fall, when you close down all these streets and then basically it's the big street fair. But we are going to stop here at Red Coffee. Coffee time. That's it. Coffee coffee. All right, first stop of the day here at Red Coffee. Uh, one thing I uh, kind of mentioned, guys, um, uh, these are pretty much brand new e-bikes. And uh, with our experience with uh, lithium batteries on our motorcycles, uh, they usually get better range and output performance after uh, you know after a few cycles, after a few. And uh, this is going to be the first actual cycle of the batteries so uh, you know and also range is real dependent on a couple things one is tire inflation i made sure i inflated the rear tire uh, to 25 psi and i inflated the front tires to 20 psi uh, it's basically going to be just smooth pavement on the ride to work and also to the weight of the rider um, Play is a big factor. Um, I'm about 160, 165 uh, on the bathroom scale with all the gear I'm carrying today. I got a big heavy backpack full of uh, gear. Um, I'm probably about 175. Uh, Matt, this morning, but 
Yeah, weigh about 235. I've got another 15 pounds of backpack on me. So looking about 250. Let's try it so guys, this is a somewhat of a a test to see what the mileage actually is. So you know what a great way to do it, riding bikes to work. And now we are on the Pacific Electric Trail. All right, so now we're on the Pacific Electric Trail. Actually, uh, this trail used to be an electric railroad that went from LA to Fontana uh, after they uh, after they stopped using it uh, they turned part of this trail from Claremont to Fontana into a bicycle trail which I think is awesome so we're gonna be on this trail for about five miles and it basically just goes behind uh, houses and businesses So the ergonomics of the MD-1000 are pretty spot on for me. I'm 5'10", 30 inch inseam. Uh, the steering stem is adjusted pretty much all the way up. Uh, this is the zoom 60 degree adjustable steering stem and uh, I'm having a real comfortable ride. So Matt's bike is set up pretty much the same way. As you can see, he's uh, pretty much sitting upright. How tall are you, Matt? Yeah. How tall are you? 5'10". Uh, oh, same thing, 5'10". So, uh, for us, uh, they're pretty perfect, but you know what? They're also highly adjustable, so you can adjust them further back if you wanted. You know, even though we've been um, in level five this entire ride, uh, you know, starting off from a dead stop, as long as you're pedaling nice and easy, it will take off nice and easy. But if you, obviously if you pedal really aggressive, nice and easy. See, I'm in level five, but I'm pedaling off nice and easy. And again, it, it only gives me the amount of power that I'm asking from it, which is, which is nice. It's going straight, right? All right, this Hyundai wants to go straight. Ugh. So the MD-1000 also comes with Kenda tires. Uh, they're 26 by four inch tires. Now there is a tube inside the inside the tire so a couple of things I highly recommend if you're gonna ride your bike a lot one is to put slime in your tires and the second thing is uh, put liners you know liners won't uh, you know prevent uh, like a nail puncture but it, what it will help with is uh, is with goat heads and thorns that will be on the side of the road, especially uh, if your if your bike trails are uh, are under uh, under tree cover. Miss Donuts and Bagels. Mmm, donut. Mmm, donut. Uh, 
uh, can I get a maple bar and a, a chocolate bar? Thank you. No change, thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. Okay, I got you a maple bar and a chocolate bar. What? Maple bar and a chocolate bar. You guys eating one? No, I'm good, bro. Thank you. All right, well, we're here eating donuts. There's probably a good chance to go over the specs of the MD-1000. Well, first things first, uh, this spec with the Bafang M620 1000 watt mid-drive motor. Now this thing uh, produces uh, pretty much 1.4 horsepower, which is a lot for a bicycle. I believe this is uh, one of, if not the most powerful offering Bafang has. Also too, it has a 48 volt 16 amp hour Panasonic cell lithium ion battery. And it is semi flush mount. It is removable with this key here and you're able to pull it out. That way you can remotely charge it. It's also specced with Tektro hydraulic brakes, front and rear. Clamp it on Tektro calipers and 100 and 80 millimeter Tektro rotors. And sporting Kenda 4.0, 26 inch by four, fat tire, fast rolling tires. You have a Bushell 50 lumen headlight, which is powered by the bike's battery. You have the Bafang Ultra Drive System Heavy Duty Dash. And uh, one of the cool features about the Dash is, is it has a, not only a, a trip meter, odometer, max speed, average speed, but what I like a lot, it has the range. Uh, there's two settings. There's an eco setting and a sport setting. There are five levels of pedal assist. It comes with also a Shimano eight speed trigger shifter. So you use your thumb to downshift and you use your, your finger, your index finger, your trigger to upshift. The front suspension has preload adjustability along with a lockout feature, dampening adjustment and lockout feature, which locks out the forks. It has studded aluminum pedals along with an Altus 8-speed derailleur. And you also have a KMC heavy duty stainless steel chain. It comes in this wasabi green along with the map, the moss green you just saw. Oh, and also it has a tail light, which also acts as a brake light. All right, so pretty much we're at the halfway point here and uh, we are 10.6 miles in with 60% battery power left. Pinnacle Peak. This is the highest point in 
are right into work. After here, it's pretty much all downhill. So I'm gonna try to go for a, a top speed run here. See how fast I can get the MD1000 going. All right, here we go. City of Glendora. Downtown Glendora. There's Glendora City Hall. Glendora Avenue. Glendora is a sleepy little town in the foothills of the San Gabriel Valley. but we're now in the city of Azusa. This is uh, Citrus College, the local junior college. You know guys, one of the things I love about commuting on a bicycle is if I was in a car, I would be basically stuck in traffic, bumper to bumper, on the 10, 57, and 210 freeways. All, usually, all have lots of traffic. But when you commute on a bicycle, we pass, you know, uh, three colleges, uh, a bunch of schools, multiple parks. You know, I was able to find a route with bike friendly bike paths and streets with bike routes and also too I get to enjoy the scenery and the day at a pace where I'm able to take everything in and doing this on an e-bike definitely is a lot easier more efficient than pedaling into work I mean, granted, pedaling to work is a great workout. I usually get to work dripping sweat. And, but pedaling this e-bike, pedaling this MD-1000, I am fresh for the day ahead. I'm actually invigorated. Thanks for joining us on our ride into work today. Uh, you know, pretty much that was the easiest cycle ride I've ever taken <laughs> in my life. Um, you know, that was a, uh, it was pretty easy coming in. Um, again, it was a 20 mile ride, level five. Uh, I still have 22% left uh, battery life on the battery. And, um, you know, uh, also take into consideration, uh, this is the very first cycle on this uh, lithium battery and they do uh, improve. Uh, with a few cycles in the can. Um, Matt, did uh, how was uh, 
How was your ride-in? What were your thoughts on your ride-in? It's real easy. I mean, just get on the bike, start pedaling, you go, you go fast, you go easy. It's comfortable. You don't even feel that exhausted for a 20 mile ride. No, I don't feel tired at all, actually. And yeah, what were your concerns? What were your like concerns coming into it? Uh, I was worried that uh, I was going to get exhausted, not in the best of shape. Uh, and then I was also worried that maybe I'd run out of mileage because I was using too much throttle. And I just didn't didn't have that. We got like a ton of ride left in me. What? So what did you uh, did you stay mainly in? You would say in level five. Level right? five. I was probably in the eighth gear. I mean, I was all the way at the top most of the, most of the ride. Anytime I, I had problems going, I just give a little bit of throttle and get me to where I need to go. Sometimes if I wanted to keep go faster, I give it throttle. But for the most part, I could pedal, not feel any you know too much pressure on my legs. I could you know uh, down you know uh, down the assistance and get some pressure. But yeah, if I, if I didn't want it, I didn't need it. All right. Well, guys, basically this is just a preliminary test of, of the range and performance of the, the MD1000. If you guys have any questions, uh, please leave them in the comments below. And we'll try to do more of this kind of style of video. It kind of gives it more of a real world uh, idea, basically, of what the capabilities and the range are of this brand new MD1000. So guys, thanks for joining us today. And thanks for watching. And guys, again, ride safe. Thanks. See ya. All right, guys, just wanted to add, um, actually, the bikes are back here in the service department. We're about to actually charge them up before you ride home. Um, actually, something happened. Um, this is the... Mo the bike that Matt rode. This is, um, and when he came into the shop, it was at nine percent. And just sitting here uh, for about an hour, uh, it went up to twenty percent. And on mine, when we got here, um, it was at twenty-three percent, and now it's at thirty-one. So as uh, you know, the batteries do settle after having such a, a big draw put on them. Uh, they get more of an accurate percentage after the, the batteries do settle. And so they went up about 